Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another video. All right, y'all. Well, Amanda Ebos has a fight. She has a fight lined up, but it's not the fight she was asking for. Amanda Ebos will make her return to the octagon against Verna Jandaroba October 30th for UFC 267. As y'all know, Amanda Ebos, she did take to Twitter and called out another fighter, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Ebos, who's ranked number 11. She's scheduled to take on a tough challenge in the number 13, Verna Jandaroba, which to me is a good fight. And I'll break that down here in a minute and why I feel like it is a good fight for her. Well, I think it's a good fight for her. Uh, Amanda Ebos, as y'all know, she's coming off a loss to Marina Rodriguez, who stopped her in the second round of their fight back in January. And Verna Jandaroba, she's coming off a big second round TKO win over Kanako Murata last month in which she almost scored a first round arm bar, but Kanako Murata was able to escape, but not without dislocating her elbow. Then she went into the second round pretty much defenseless as Verna General was just dominating her. So at the end of the second round, doctor took a look at the elbow, saw it was dislocated, and they pretty much just said, no, can't, can't go any further, have to stop the fight. But it was a good solid win for Verna General. Also, as y'all know, Amanda Ebos, she was trying to get a fight scheduled with Angela Hill this, this, uh, this summer, you know, twice back in May and June. But she actually tested positive, not once, but twice. You know, the first time around she had tested hot, then in June, she still had some lingering effects, so couldn't get the fight with Angela Hill to go. So once again, she was sidelined. And she recently hit the waves with a major call out of number four, Jan Janan, in which a lot of fans, they were on the fence about. You know, I did a video about it a couple of, uh, a couple of days ago because, you know, it was a big leap. It's a big leap, especially, you know, you're asking for a big request coming off a TKO loss. And you're asking for such a high ranked opponent. You know, I know why a lot of people felt the way they did about the fight. To me, I was like, okay, if she gets it, fine, because she's carrying that energy, you know. But this fight here is a much better fight for her, you know, the Werner Jenneroba fight. But, you know, she went to Twitter and said, hey, how you doing, Jan Jana? Let's make this fight. And she tagged everybody from Mick Maynard to Dana White to, you know, ESPN. But they weren't having it. They said, that's too big a, that's too big a test for you. So we're going to put you in there with Vernon Jenderoba, who's number 13, you know, two spots lower, that same tier, which makes sense. Right. So and so with that, my thoughts, I like this fight. You know, I like this fight for both fighters. You know, this is the realm that Ebos is in. You know, she has a lot of good tools. She's young, strong, but still has some holes in her game that have to be tested. And yeah, you know, if she went in there with a fighter like uh, Jan Janan, that's a great risk, you know. Yeah, she could probably win that fight, but if she won that fight, then she would be at that tier. She would be at that high tier, that top five tier, or, you know, she'd be number five or number six where there's no turning back. And, you know, if Ebos wins that fight, you know, and she gets the number five or number six, you know, her head's going to be like, nah, we're going straight to the top. And from there, it's just going to be hell for her, you know, because, yeah, she could probably beat somebody like Jan John on because I feel like she does have the ground game and the, and the striking and the strength to handle Jan John on. But what about Joanna? You know, what about Zhang Wei Li? What about Rose Nami Yunus, even Carlos Sparza? You know, do you have that type of skill and experience to beat those fighters? I don't think so. So if she was to get that fight, oh, man, she would be stuck. She would be stuck. So this is a good fight for her. You know, this is a good level for her. It's much smarter matchmaking for her and for Jan Rowe. And for Verna, you know, this is a good name, both recognized off of skill and the name. You know, Verna Jan Rowe will be taking on somebody that has... Uh, good t that's a good test for her and you know that's that has some popularity to her you know that has some um has some flair to her and it's in the right direction to get into the top you know so right now when you look at this fight it's a tough fight for both girls you know early on i'm thinking general was just in a zone you know i feel like she's just got the momentum behind her i think her ability to put her striking together has reached new levels you know her ground game right now is some of the best at 115 and she's getting stronger. You know, Verna General was looking physically stronger in there. She's putting on some more muscle. And like I said, you know, she's just getting better with the jab and the right hands. She's looking much sharper and more fluid on her feet. But Amanda Ebos, she may have that scrappy style to hang in there with her on the ground. And she has that wrestling to maybe neutralize her like Carla Sparza was able to do. You know, and she also has some decent striking, you know, some very tricky footwork at times. And a good jab, very good straight jab from Amanda Ebos. So right now... Just early on looking at this fight, I do kind of have a 50-50, but maybe 60-40 for Verna Jandaroba, just off of her momentum and just her ability to grow as a fighter. You know, I think she's really starting to put everything together into that well-rounded fighter. You know, she's really been wanting to stand more, and she's been looking impressive because I myself feel like she did enough to beat Mackenzie Dern, um, Verna Jandaroba, that is. You know, she has that fighter in her belt now. 
the Kanako Murata fight. You know, she showcased how strong she was in that fight, how smart she was with the striking. So she she's she has a bit she has um she has more of a I think uh Verna Jenderoba has more of a discipline about her that you know shows you that she's growing as a fighter. Amanda Ebos is developing that too, but she still has that rough scrappiness to her, that go get him attitude that leaves her open sometimes. You know, that that little bit of Juliana Pena. Hopefully she can break out of that and become more of a technical fighter. But yeah, early on looking at this fight, you know, I like it. You know, it's it's where they need it's where they both need to be right now. This is the tier they're on, and this is the type of opponent both fighters need out of each other. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what y'all think of this fight. We'll talk about it more as we get closer to the match. Of course, you know, I will do a breakdown of it, but you know, we'll talk about it on live stream as well. There's other things I, you know, come up about this fight, you know, other angles. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got on this one. Let me know what y'all think of the fight. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.